Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is I am bringing makeup and movies back. At least for this video. Um, I watched a movie the other day that <clears throat> really just, it was one of those movies that stays with you. Um, it's, it, the name of the movie is Maudi, M-A-U-D-I-E. And I'll, I'll go into my thoughts about the movie at the end, but I wanted to, but obviously they're going to be good because I'm doing a video about it, but I, I just felt so compelled to just share about this movie. The movie um, was, it, it was, it came out in um, 2016. And the movie stars Ethan Hawke and Sally Hawkins. Now, as I'm talking about the movie, I'm going to be putting makeup on. I may show it. I may not. Um, but I will try to put everything down below if you want me to. Um, if you don't, then I won't. I'll just tell you I'm going to be putting some makeup on <laughs> so here we go Ethan Hawke stars as Everett Lewis in the film this is based on a true story this is based on Maude Lewis's life prior to marrying Everett Lewis she was a dot her, her um, maiden name was Dowley, D O W L E Y. The movie was set in the 1930s era in a small village in Nova Scotia, Canada. <laughs> um, the the scenery was spectacular let me just i have that at the end of my little outline that i wanted to to talk about but i just need you to know just how spectacular this was this movie was not a movie that took place with m multiple shooting areas this was <clears throat> a very small area very very small um, area that that the cast and crew were in and there was not that many <laughs> there truly wasn't um, <laughs>
there's no f-bombs in the movie at all there's no nudity um there's i think they say the word ass a time or two you know i think maybe she says you know something like don't be an ass ever something you know, it, it's not you don't you, it's not prevalent in this movie, which is, thank goodness, because you know, we don't, we, there's enough nasty talk in today's, you know, society that we don't, we don't need a, another movie, you know, to, um, add to that, but, So, this was how I had, I had wanted to have my eyes done, but no such look. I get caught up. <laughs> Can y'all tell? But when I'm really passionate about something, I get that it's what I do. I get, I tend to get very passionate about something. Um, you know what? Let's just do, let's just do two colors. I've got my Cindy, Gr Cindy, Sydney Grace palette. And I'm going to go in with this shade right there. And then I'm going to go in with that shade. And then I'm going to go in with that shade <laughs> and let's do these eyes real quick and I will be back to give my final thoughts okay guys I am back got everything sorted out hopefully <laughs> um, <clears throat> my takeaway from this movie go see it rent it stream it find it <laughs> um I'll tell you how I found it. I found it on YouTube, the little shorts. Um, for whatever reason, it showed one clip. And the clip that it showed was enough to make me like scroll through the comments. And I'm like, what is the name of the, you know? And I'm just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And then somebody wrote up there, Maudie, 2016. And so I, I went to IMDB, where a lot of this information came from. And sure enough, that there was it. And it was um, on, I watched it on Freebie, I do believe. At any rate, and I'm glad that I did. I really am. Um, it was 90 minutes well spent. I, it, it, the, the, there was no cussing, like I said, no nudity, no, no bullying, I mean, the, well, Everett was a bully, bit of a bully, he, he was a burly, brusque man in the 30s, I mean, you know, they, they didn't, I'm not excusing his behavior by any means, but he was a typical, bachelor there i don't know his backstory i don't know what he was before he met maude because this was maude's story she does die in the end um you know and her 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 dying scene was very touching um it was she got every um <laughs> Don't do it. I don't have water with mascara on. <laughs> it is a beautiful movie. It is a... It is an... I can overcome anything movie. It is a... 
I'm a champion movie and an inspirational movie and that's what I took from it and it's probably now just making me realize just how probably close to this movie that I am and why this has had such an impact on me and why I'm freaking about to cry oh my god stop it stop it stop it stop it it's like it's just the really literally just hit me that uh, live or you know <laughs> this this movie I just really was resonated so much with it and it's just hitting me <clears throat> the <clears throat> get back on track <laughs> I don't have waterproof mascara on and it's brown <laughs> let's talk about the makeup a little bit let me, let me, let me clear this and take a sip of the coffee I'm using my Maybelline. It's brown. I don't like it. I like the color, but it's so wet. I do not like this particular formula. All the my, all my other sky highs, I have black. I have waterproof. I have cosmic black. like them. This one, I got in brown, and it's too wet. So, I'm hoping after using it a couple times or opening it up a couple times that it will start to dry out a little bit and that's how I like my mascaras but and I am wearing Twig I think this is Twig by MAC as my lipstick that's what she looks like I said I wasn't going to do the whole what am I wearing but I gotta get I gotta get back into the groove um the eyes I'm wearing the Cindy Grace and Temptelia the light version of the radiant reflection and I'm wearing that shade this shade and this as the shimmer shade but I did have to dig into a single Sydney Grace this shade which is just had it um and it's called in it to win it I used that one to just deepen a little bit the outer edge y'all saw me use that blush I powdered everything down with my bye bye pores my it and this was just what I had up here for I just used the KVD or Kat Von D shade and light and I just used the bronzer that one um, it's very powdery so you got to be really 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 careful with that one because um, it's way out of it's, it's way out of um expired it's expired it's way out of yeah i can't think of the word i'm trying to say it's expired there we go uh and the two foundations that i used are a little bit of 440 and a little bit of 420 of the infallible i just got the 420 in i'm just about out of the 440 so i've mixed a little bit of the 420 in concealer i used my joa and my eye primer, I used my um, Urban Decay. Now, oh, and before I put any of that on, I had used my um, bronzing drops off camera. 
<clears throat> by rev my Revolution Bronzing Drops. Now, back to the movie. Now that I got my mind straight. <laughs> you know, this is just, this is the unfiltered part of the my channel. You know, it, yeah, it makes for a longer video, but if you click out, you click out and, and you know, but I make these videos for me sometimes too, you know, so it is what it is. But the, the sets, and I kind of touched on this earlier on, you don't really have a huge production site. You know, you, you don't have all these sets. You have the house. The house in and of itself is, in my opinion, one of the main characters of this movie. And in researching this, to do this video, the director had an exact replica built of her house so they could film in it. You know, it, it wasn't like on a, a sound stage. An exact replica was built. You know, it wasn't... It, and you really get to see just how small it is because, you know, you don't get a whole lot of shots around, you know, because there's nowhere to put the cameras ahead. I mean, it, it truly is that small. But it's just... You, I enjoyed it. I, I I can't say enough about it. Um, there was just there. You did not see Everett or Maude have these grand public displays of affection. You didn't see, you know, you didn't see him taking her dancing or courting her or you just did not see that type of relationship you just witnessed two people who I think did not mean to love one another but who accidentally did and they fell in love with their life as well and they both got something out of it they both got a love that they did not have before and they didn't know that they were missing and so that was just such a beautiful it's a it's a beautiful love story that's what that's my opinion on it anyway I hope you go watch the movie. If you've seen the movie, leave me some comments down below. Let's talk about it. I really, really, really want to talk about it. <laughs> so, or if you've, if you've read the book, if there is a book. Um, there's got to be a book. I mean, anyway. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me till the very end of this hour-long video. All right, guys. As always, be beautiful and be kind. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.